What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. Got a couple mugs here. Got a couple mugs here. We are filled up with bisqueware. So, Mocha Monkey logo mugs to be used at the coffee shop. We got 12 ounce, 16 ounce, 20 ounce, and now we finish them, we glaze them. So they all have this Mocha Monkey logo on it. So the first thing that we gotta do, put black glaze, so we put that black glaze on there like that. And then we take a clean sponge and we wipe them clean so then they look like that. And then we will take wax and wax on the top of that so then we can dip the yeah, them in the glazes. We got we got a lot of work. It's definitely more than one kill mode. I think I max out at about 40 to 50 mugs per kiln. And this is more like what is this? Like 90, 80 something. So I ended up with a lot of 12 ounce mugs and a lot of 16 ounce mugs and then there's only like 10, 20 ounce mugs. And I'm kind of measuring them just based on like, I'll pour some water in there and then I'll pour 12 ounces and then I know that it's gonna shrink another like four or five percent. So I wanna make sure that there's room on the top there. So we, uh, this giant project continues. This is part two. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, how we made all these mugs, go check that out right now. It's in a link up here. Shink, 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 shink. Ah, do it. Let's get wild. Cheers. Black lays. Got a somewhat clean sponge, and we got a glazing sponge. Take our mugs with the logo in them. Mix that up. We'll put that black glaze in there. Just make sure that it gets in all the little crevices. There's like little coffee beans in our logo, so we wanna make sure that they get in that. And then typically I'll just do a bunch of them. So I shall speed up through this. Now we got our glaze, and it's on there, and it's dry. So we're gonna take our sponge with some water, clean that up so it's nice and clean, and then we shall reveal what is underneath. Boom, just like that. One. And then I just take, make sure that you're using just the clean side of the sponge. Then every once in a while you gotta clean your sponge off. Boom! Oh, I need a brush. I need to find a brush, brush, brush. Where are, where are you, brush? Now we're taking wax resist, pouring it into a bowl, and then brushing it on. Put this right here. Take our brush. And then paint that wax on. So this will just make sure that there's no, when we dip it, the glaze will not stay on the logo. And I could wax the bottom if I want, but I have this signature and this little monkey stamp that I want to get glaze inside of. So I'm just gonna dip it and then just use a sponge to sponge off the bottom. And then this one I feel like just has a little too much black glaze on it. So I'm just gonna wipe that off again. Let that dry for a second. There we go. Wax on, and the kiln burns the wax off. Wax on, wax off. So now I'm taking these mugs and dipping the top in a cone six black. That was floating blue, so we got blacker on the top, and then floating blue, and then we'll do one more around the top of buttercream. Yep. Check out this mug. So, we're gonna do something, something special. Basically, I'm gonna dip this all in floating blue, and then I'm just gonna wipe it off.
friends. So we got our first batch of mugs in here. We got, there's probably 12, 20 ounce mugs, and then there's probably like 30, 12 ounce mugs. And then we got some recycled coasters on top there because those are thin and they take up little room so we can fit lots of those in there. So we're gonna start this, fire this up to cone six. Cone fire, we're gonna no, not preheat it. Cone six, enter, speed, medium, enter. Hold for zero time and then press. It's 54 degrees in here right now. That's why my hands are so cold. All right, ready? Boom! Boom! All right, ready? I'm gonna close this, and we'll see you in two days when we get to open it back up. You ready? It is two days later, and the magical kiln has done its job. It got up to 2,232 degrees in nine hours. Now it's at 91 degrees, which means we can open it. Let's do it! I'm so excited. Best part right here the whole pottery process. So we're not gonna do this like a normal kiln opening because there's just a ton of Moke Monkey logo mugs in there. Uh, we're just gonna unload everything and put it right on here. How do you feel about that? A little, uh, little more intimate right here. Ready? All right. First thing, we got a bunch of glass coasters. Glass, these are white, so the matte white with the white in there looks very, very nice. So far, none have broken like that. I like when things don't break a lot. I like it a lot when things don't break. So I'm doing this new glaze technique for these where I just, I put my fingers like right here and then I just do a little circle so that the outside gets glazed but the inside stays unglazed so then the white. And I really like it. And then the, the fingerprints, I took this from Joel Terrico. He inspired me to try that out. But then I think it looks really good. And then everyone's like a little bit different. And they're different enough that it wasn't like I was trying to be the same. Yes. Oh man, I, I'm getting better at those. I'm getting, getting good. I'm getting less breakage. Oh boy, that, those are just so, I just can never get over how cool that is. I love it. I love it. Some blue ones. You know, I decided that I really like the kiln unloadings because it's hard for me to just sit down and like start talking to the camera about random stuff. But I am really good at that when I'm unloading a kiln. Here's some little I don't really know that I just had some extra Mocha Monkey logos when I was doing all those mugs. So I just turned them into little like poker chips or something. I thought these would be cool like coupons. Like if we give them out to customers as like, bring this back for a free drink or just play poker with them. Oh, fail. That's what happens when you're looking at the camera screen. This one kind of failed too. So I had this idea to instead of throwing the coasters, maybe I could just like throw out a slab and just use a circle cookie cutter. And so that's kind of how that worked. It's kind of an interesting, interesting thing. That obviously warped like crazy and was not level. So chalk that up, for, chalk that up for a fail. Obviously you, you guys learned a lot about my, from my fails though. Oh sh Well, the green was a little thick, which is unfortunate. Huh, that's bad, bad news. All right, well, I will be spending a lot of time grinding off the bottoms of these. Well, that one didn't drip, so that's good news. I'm getting like one little big drip. One little big drip. Ah, cow. I mean, it's okay, I guess, because I'm not selling these. We're just using them at Mocha Monkey, so. But seriously, like, I did not expect it to drip that much. Dang it. Well. Probably just gonna speed up through this because I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, that's good. that turned out pretty cool. I used, I'm thinking about trying to start using, what the heck, what is it? Using just like saucers like this to put stuff on so that if it does drip, it doesn't totally ruin the kiln shelf. Hand warmer. 
with the Moke Monkey logo. Ah, frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. Here's the candle holder. It's another candle holder. Those will be cool. So the top two rows are really good and the bottom two are gonna be It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay, John. Here's a bowl, last bowl on the top. This is for my mom. She uh, custom ordered that. We gave her a custom piece of pottery for her birthday and that's what she did. You have heard, you've heard my tone and my voice change. Jeez. I mean, it's a gorgeous glaze, but was it worth it? Oh, probably not. All right, so those are the 12 ounce mugs that had obviously too much glaze, and now here are the 20 ounce mugs, and these are in blue. So I'm pretty confident that these will be much less crazily drippy. Oh, well, that one didn't drip. I would have been really nice if they all would have been exactly like that, but that green must have just been too thick. Too thick, thick, thick. Check out that mug. That's cool. Got a little drip. Man. Oh. <laughs> well, these turned out good. So now I gotta pour some water and make sure that these are like 12, 16, 20 ounce. Nothing ruined. It's all the learning. Just gonna compose myself a little bit and uh, we'll come back in a little bit. Well, I just put 12 ounces of water in there and it filled it up perfectly. So, silver lining, I got my measurements right. Time to grind some bottoms. Definitely need to bolt that thing down. I like to move it though, so. Well, at the end of the day, we had a lot of pots that dripped. Don't fall. But, you know what? 10, 10 minutes of grinding and we're not cool, perfectly good as new, but like that doesn't look so good. But the high likelihood that these will get broken in the next few years anyway, I don't feel quite so bad. But I'd say I'm pretty happy so far. Persevering. Amongst adversity. Just put 20 ounces in there, filled it right up to the top. So far, doing pretty well on the measuring side of things. Oh yes. Oh yes. Perfect. All this stuff is going up on Etsy right now. Go check it out over on the Etsy shop. I don't know how long stuff will be up on there, but we got like 20 or 30 pots up on the Etsy shop. So go check them out. Here's a few. We got coffee pour overs. Got a couple candle holders. Got some custom Mocha Monkey mugs that you've been watching me make that we just took out of the kiln. Thanks for joining me in today's video. Glazing, unloading, all that stuff. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Comment, like, share. Ha! Can you do that, Ryder? Hit that subscribe button. Hit it! Smash that bell. Smash it. Smash that bell to be notified whenever I post. We'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, go have an adventure.